Hi, I'm at VDJ1B. You can call me Connor or you can call me John. And you're back for another episode of Dress to Press X, part of my This Geek Say Chic uh, features on gaming apparel for Joypad and me. Um, in this third episode, you can probably guess what I'm going to talk about. So let's stand up and reveal it is. I'm wearing a Nathan Drake cosplay, or at least the start of one. So, um, for Uncharted 3, Nathan Drake kind of wears a long jersey um, and a neck scarf because he ends up in the desert. Spoilers. Um, basically, I'm not quite finished with this cosplay, but I wanted to let you kind of in on a little bit of an idea of what I'm working on and what I need to do. So, as you can see, long jersey, it's kind of a, a, a running stitch kind of check pattern. You don't really see it. It's very, very thin. It's from Insert Coin. I don't think you can still get it. Um, and finished off with a scarf that's also from Insert Coin. Um, to kind of give the, the basic look, I'm also wearing beige slacks, which ideally, they should be beige combat, they should have a pocket on the side. And I've got trainers on. I need boots. So other things that are kind of missing. Half tucks there, that's fine. So kind of just tucked into the belt, hanging out around the sides. That's very Nathan Drake. Um, what else though? Belt buckle. Could really do with being the horseshoe belt buckle that he wears. It's a major, major mission. And well, that's, there's no necklace. So I need to try and find a Sig Parvis Magna um, necklace, it's a replica or maybe one that's from a collector's edition. Same with the belt. I think when it came out on PS3 they did do a collector's edition with them so it might be a bit of scouring eBay to see if I can find them. Other things. You see I've got no weapons so I need some kind of toy handgun, maybe a toy AK and I also really need some kind of holster. Ideally, what I should do is distress the shirt as well, so kind of some mud, sand, um, massive sweat patches around to kind of give me more of a Nathan Drake look. But I thought it was kind of worth showing you what this was like. So you can see it's T that goes down, down there. It's a nice long sleeve. I do wear this a lot casually, usually underneath things because it's it's quite thin. So it's not ideal for winter unless you're gonna wrap up. This scarf, again, take it off it's exceptionally thin it's a big giant square of material that is really thin so not ideal for winter quite good for accessorizing with though um, if you tune into a future episode of Joy Pan and Me um, future episode of Dress to Press X you may see um, what I've been accessorizing this with um, yeah so tying it generally I roll it a little bit and then wrap it around my neck so around at the back and tie it off just loosely at the front and then just tuck and drop and that should hopefully um, yeah that kind of gives the the Nathan Drake look so it's not finished it's not ideal it's a little more kind of casual than it could be but I thought it was important to let you know kind of how I'm going on with with cosplay ideas if you've seen the first episode I did uh, cosplay on um, Jacob from Assassin's Creed Syndicate so I thought it was interesting to show some of the others I've got a couple more that I'm working on that you'll see in future episodes um, one is finished and there'll be a review of a certain item within that if you've been looking at my Instagram page which is at VDJOMB you may have got a hint as to what, what a couple of those future ones are um, and that's pretty much it, other than to kind of show you the back, which has got uh, the Sig Parvis Magnum on, which I think is a really nice touch. Insert coin, you can probably still pick this uh, scarf up. I think it was going for about nine quid, so if you want one, go grab one quick before they're gone. This, you can't, but they, aren't, they do do a blue long jersey, which is very much like uh, Nathan Drake and Uncharted 4, and I'll be looking at kind of picking that up hopefully in the near future um, and I'm looking at kind of getting some boots as well so I'll probably come back hopefully within six months to kind of show you a bit more of whether it's progressed any further hopefully you've enjoyed this and you found it informative um, I've been at VDJOMB 
You can find me podcasting on Joypad and Me, which the podcast is available via Stitcher, iTunes, and direct from joypadandme.com. You'll also find written articles on there. I've done a, recently done a written article for Gozu Style, so you should be able to see that on there, and that's um, that should be up to read. And then there's a that was what I talked about on episode two of Dress to Press X. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please feel free to subscribe if you have. And there's more episodes coming. There's quite a big review of a collection coming in in the next episode that maybe tied in a little bit to this. Uh, if you've seen any of my Uncharted 4 multiplayer compilations, that'll probably give you a hint as to what that is. Um, 